sick. <laughs> what the actual hell? <laughs> you talking to me? Oh, look at that hopeless face. <laughs> I could not go another minute without watching another Marx Brothers movie. It's horse feathers. I'm so used to doing the whole Merry Christmas, but I can't do that anymore because it's all over. It's all past. We can do a Merry 2023, everybody. First video of the new year. It's Marx Brothers, so it's going to be a good one. Horse feathers to me means absolute nonsense. I think it's a polite way of saying horse poop. So if that is the case and it does mean absolute nonsense, then it's very fitting for a Marx Brothers movie. I loved so much A Night at the Opera and Duck Soup. I have very high expectations for this one, but not too high because I don't think it's like their best movies. I think it's third best. So it's all right if it's not as good as the other two. I don't mind. Anyway, how's everyone's Christmas has been? Are you one of those that you're happy it's all over and you can get back into a normal routine again? Or are you like me and you're just sad and miserable and need Marx Brothers to cheer you up a bit? I need Marx Brothers. And come along little bit obsessed. Just yeah so did I already say first reaction of the year. First video, first upload is horse feathers. It feels like I haven't filmed in ages but it's because I needed a little bit of a break after the 25 uploads in December. Just a little break. I might do it again. Who knows? Daily uploads in Easter maybe? I don't know. Spring's rubbish so yeah we could do that. Oh and I didn't notice some of you were saying that the December videos weren't very Christmassy so if you want to see all Christmas movies next year then let me know but be warned I have seen a lot of them. You know the popular ones because they're Christmas so. Anyway Christmas is over it's in the past we're moving on we're not sad about it we're being happy today. I have my happy face on. Look and oh i forgot if you like this video please give it a great big thumbs up if you're planning to stick around then please subscribe also head over to patreon too there's lots on there already patrons get one week's early access and i forget what i'm saying because i feel like i haven't done this in ages here we go patrons get one week early access and full reactions no edits at all if you're new here then thank you thank you so much for being here if you're old here as well thank you for being here thank you for staying and let's watch horse feathers i think groucho yeah groucho is my favorite um yeah, my favourite, yeah. Oh, it's just a short movie. It's only like an hour long. And play! <sighs> God, I miss the black and white. The four are in it. That means Zeppo's in it too. <laughs> that looks exactly like them. In retiring as president of this college, it is indeed a painful task to bid you all goodbye. May I present to you the man who is to guide the destinies of this great institution. It's going to be Groucho. <laughs> Yay! There is no smoking. That's what you say. <laughs> His face. As I look out over your eager faces, I can readily understand why this college is flat on its back. The last college I presided over, things were slightly different. I was flat on my back. <laughs> I came into this college to get my son out of it. To get my son out of it. <laughs> Would you mind getting up so I can see the sunrise? <laughs> the sunrise. Hello, old-timer. There's Zeppo. I'm sure the students would appreciate a brief outline of your plans for the future. Oh, yes, please. Now that you have stepped into my shoes... Oh, is that what I stepped in? I wondered what it was. <laughs> if these are your shoes, the least you can do is have them clean. <laughs> I don't know what they have to say. It makes no difference anyway. I'm against it. No matter what it is or who commenced it. I'm against it. And even when you've changed it or condensed it. I'm against it. I think whatever it is, he's against it. Don't double cross him or toss him around. My son is right. I'm quick to fight. I'm from a fighting. And it's some of the legs. It just gets me every time. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> Telling me. <laughs> oh, are you listening? He's yodeling. Wait, what was that song even about? I always get my man. What's all this talk I hear about you fooling around with the college widow? There's nothing wrong between me and the college widow. There isn't, huh? Then you're crazy to fool around with her. The college widow? What this college needs is a good football team. Good football players. Yeah. Here we go. Where do you get good football players? 
Well, in a speakeasy, Dom. In a speakeasy? It's gonna be Harpo and Chico. Two of the greatest football players in the country hang out in a speakeasy downtown. What's a speakeasy? 42 Elm Street, but you can't go there. It's unethical. Elm Street? Anything further, Father? That can't be right. Isn't it anything farther further? <laughs> Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street, that's where I've heard <laughs> With you boys playing for Darwin, Huxley can't win. <laughs> yeah, but they've got um, Harpo and Chico coming. They're going to be the professional footballers. <laughs> are they? I can't imagine that. Professional jokers, that's what they are. Yes, lady, this is Barabella the Iceman is speaking. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? One quarter scotch, one quarter rye. Okay, lady, I sent him right over. Uh -huh. Is this his homemade stuff? Watch the door for a few minutes. And don't let anyone in without the password. Swordfish is the password. Who are you? I'm fine, thanks. Who are you? <laughs> you can't come in unless you give the password. Oh, what is the password? Oh, no, you gotta tell me. Hey, I tell what I do, I give you three guesses. It's the name of a fish. Is it Mary? <laughs> <laughs> is it Sturgeon? Hey, you crazy. Sturgeon, he's a doctor, cuts you open when he was... <laughs> Haddock. That's a funny. I got a haddock, too. What do you take for a haddock? Well, now, sometimes I take aspirin, or sometimes... <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Hey, what's the matter? You don't understand English? No, he doesn't. You can't come in here unless you say swordfish. It's Is swordfish. it swordfish? <laughs> That's it, you guess it. <laughs> Pretty good, eh? Uh, fine, you guess it. All. What's the password? Oh, you're no fool of me. <laughs> swordfish. No, I got tired of that. I changed it. <laughs> what's the password now? Yeah, I forgot it. I better come outside with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I like to get a cup of coffee. Dog. <laughs> Where did that come from? You know the password? Gotcha. Swordfish. <laughs> get out, that's no way to go in with a speakeasy, that's the way you come out. Oh, it's a speakeasy. <laughs> I don't know what a speakeasy is. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I love him. He's such a child. Cut the cards. Yeah, you shouldn't have said that in front of him. I'm looking for two football players who always hang around here. We always hang around here, well, but that's we all don't... I want to know. Oh. <laughs> He's got a shadow spot, on. What would you fellas want to play football? Well, first we want a football. Well, I don't know if we've got a football, but if I can find one, would you be interested? Just sleep on it. I don't think I can sleep on a football. I don't think I can sleep. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Dad wants me to give you up. You know, you're interfering with my studies. <laughs> he must think I'm terrible. But I think you're wonderful. What's a college way, though? The preacher in the pulpit and the man in the pew says, I love you. What a lovely voice. Oh, he's a horsey. <laughs> Is that banana got zips on it? <laughs> Cars, who do you think you are? Ah. You're a wise guy, ain't you? Let go that club. He is, he's a wise guy. Did you see that badge? Oh, he's got two. He's got, uh, not two like the number two. He's got a sheriff's badge. Oh, no idea. That is, that's a monkey. Please, dog, for sale. It's about your son. He's paying too little attention to his studies and too much to Connie Bailey, the college widow. Well, I'll soon put a stop to that. I'll call her up right now. Have either of you weasels got our phone number? No. no. Well, it's a good thing I've got. <laughs> of course you do. Is this Miss Bailey? Uh huh. Why, of course I know your son. Why is she always in bed? We're just very good friends. I don't think so. Come right over to my office. You can't? You're in bed? Well, in that case, I'll come over to your office. No, no. He's a nutter. Barabelli, you've got the brain of a four-year-old boy, and I bet he was glad to get rid of it. <laughs> Here's your pennant. Here's your coat. 
Oh, Jesus. I want you to sign this agreement. Hey, there's nothing on this paper. That's all right. We'll fill in something later. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. This isn't legal. There's no seal on it. Where's the seal? Where's the seal? Oh, it's a real seal. Aww. <laughs> Cute. Oh, Mr. President, what brings you here? A bicycle, but I left it out in the hall. <laughs> a bicycle. Well, all you need now is a bowl of cherries. Is that a giant grape? <laughs> God, I love them. <laughs> Of course, you are all familiar with the symptoms of cirrhosis. Cirrhosis are red, so violets are blue, so sugar is sweet, so so are you. <laughs> cirrhosis are red. <laughs> Any questions? Yes. When are you going to cut the watermelon open? Oh, it's a watermelon. I thought it was a giant grape. <laughs> oh, God's sake. <laughs> the blood rushes from the head down to the feet, gets a look at those feet, and rushes back to the head again. <laughs> It's a look at those feet. <laughs> oh my god. I can't cope with this. That's a horse. Cards, it's because your partner is cheating or your wife. Why is his shoes off? Now on closer examination. Mm, this needs closer examination. <laughs> In fact, it needs a nightgown. <laughs> is this your picture? I don't think so. It doesn't look like me. It doesn't look like me. <laughs> oh, so you're the culprit. Aww. I didn't do anything. I know, but there's no fun keeping him after school. According to Von Stein, I'll see. <laughs> there is present a group of white phagocytes. It's war. Listen, I've got my bankroll bet on Darwin. I'm taking no chances. Before the game starts, I'll have the Huxley signals. I'll see you later. <laughs> what the actual hell? Are you still here? I just came in. What do you mean, am I still here? Oh, I mean, are you here already? Yeah, I almost got caught. Okay, I can tell now that he's the other brother. They all look so similar. <laughs> Are you Miss Bailey? Come, come, one of us is Miss Bailey and I'm not. <laughs> Listen, madam, you've got to give my son up. Give him up? You can't take him from me. Oh, I love sitting on your lap. I could sit here all day if you didn't stand up. Quick, hurry, get out of here. That Wait, where's... Where's Seppo? I don't want any ice. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Who was that? The ice man. Well, you can't pull the wool over my eyes. My eyes? <laughs> Here you are. Goes. So, I caught you at last. And you are fooling around with this woman. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, it's so nice. You've got something, but what it is. I'm going to tell him he's crazy. Ha, ha, <laughs> he never puts them back. Oh, it's the. Wait, what? He's got shoes on after taking his shoes off. Have you read any good books lately? She's loving it. They're all after her. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm the music teacher I give for singing lessons. <laughs> you sing a high, huh? Yes, I have a falsetto voice. That's a funny. My last pupil, she got a false set of teeth. <laughs> false set of teeth. And the rooster when he holla cock the cooly dooly doo says I love you. I don't know if we've heard him sing by himself before. He's right all over you, maybe, and then he get himself a great the big boat that he's on. Does she just fancy them all? Because <laughs> I do too. I love good music. So do I. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I've got to stay here. But there's no reason why you folks shouldn't go out into the lobby till this thing blows over. <laughs> you talking to me? <laughs> wow. <laughs> he knows he's cute. <laughs> The 
haven't come fallen in love. <laughs> the two fellas I told you about are playing for Darwin. Send for Baravelli. Scour the grounds. Don't leave a single stone unturned. He's probably under one. He's probably under one. This is amazing. There's two football players in the Darwin team I want kidnapped. Have you ever had any experience as a kidnapper? Yes, you have, yes. First I call them up on the telephone, then I send them my chauffeur. Yeah. What kind of a car have you got? Oh, I don't get a car. I just got a chauffeur. So you see, it costs too much money to keep a car on the chauffeur, so I sold the car. I would have kept the car and sold the chauffeur. I gotta have a chauffeur to take me to work in the morning. Well, if you've got no car, how can he take you to work? He don't have to take me to work. I know got a job. <laughs> I didn't come here to fight. You've got to fight. I've already taken my coat off. Yeah, that's that's what guys do when they fight. They have to take their coat off every time. These are Darwin signals. You think I'd give you $500 for Darwin signals? Why, they cost me 200 I guess I got to make a little profit. <laughs> Wait, what signals? Damn it, how much do I want to be her right now? <laughs> so fair! They're all so very talented, aren't they? I could watch that all day. And the piano. Wow! Romance him, baby, romance him. And remember, all you're to get is football signal. Uh, that's not all she wants, though. The duck upon the water when he feels that way too, says... <laughs> that's a wise quack. A <laughs> wise quack. Professor, you're full of whimsy. Can you notice it from there? I'm always that way after I eat radishes. Radishes? Drop something. Oh, is that important? Oh, is it a football okay. signal? I don't know what a signal is. What's football signals? Do you know, Professor, I've never seen football signals. This great big strong man going to tell little icky baby all about the bad football signals. That's not how we do it. Was that you or the duck? Because if it was you, I'm going to finish this ride with the duck. <laughs> Good idea. But the football signals, icky baby going to cry. What? Can I see them? <laughs> Yeah, that was for that stupid baby talking. Jennings says Baravelli and the dog catcher are coming over here to kidnap us to keep us out of the game. The trousers are really high. Uh, you got a brother? No. You got a sister? Yeah. Well, your sister, she's a very sick man. You better come with us. She's a very sick man. Come on, we take you in our car. It will, eh? Well, I have no sister. That's all right. We know got a car. <laughs> You're just going to have to go with them, boys. Where's that rope, Ed? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what you're good at. We come to kidnap them, they kidnap us. I got an idea. You got a rope? That's good. That's fine. It's got everything in that bag. Tie out of the bed, throw the rope out of the window. No. Tie it on the bed first. You throw the rope out of the window, but you don't tie on the bed. No, I don't oh. mean to tie, I mean to tie. <laughs> 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 Them two are brilliant together. They're all brilliant together. I wonder what the two mugs are doing up there. Trying to escape. They're gonna get you, you know. A lot of the stuff that they do you see in cartoons. But I think they did it first. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she doesn't want to see that. Take that coat off! Why? <laughs> Stand over there, you! Come on, Ed. <laughs> Look at Harper's face! <laughs> Tune in on the radio if you want to see how the game's going along. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, why did you take their clothes? Yeah, but where's that going to take you to? <laughs> Is that what underwear used to look like? <laughs> Why do you take a scarf just to tie it around his head? Listen, you bunch of butterfingered milksops. The way you're playing, you couldn't beat a girl's basketball team. Wait a minute. Well, you're talking to the wrong team. Oh, yeah. I know I am, but our team wouldn't listen to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you two are useless. Why, Pinky, what are you 
you doing here? You're supposed to tackle a man with a ball, you understand? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> well, you had the ball. <laughs> hey, look, he's got the mumps. Oh, come on, give me that ball. <laughs> Signal! 184256 and run book. I don't know what that means. <laughs> hey, <what are> you <laughs> He's always hungry. Hmm, fancy seeing you here. Well, it's a small world after all. Hey! <laughs> Signal! Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall, Professor Wagstaff gets the ball. Hey! <laughs> Is it meant to be in code so that the other team don't know what you're doing? Boy. Hey, bring that ball in here. What a bugger he is. Hey! <laughs> it worked. Where's that ball? <laughs> here it is. Come on, get off that ball. You're holding up the game. <laughs> Pinky. I thought his name was Pinky in the last movie. Hi, diddle, diddle, a cat and a fiddle. This time I think we go through the middle. Hi! <laughs> this time I think we go through the middle. I'm not understanding any of this. Oh, there's a doggy! <laughs> Shit show. Yay! <laughs> I don't think it, it does count. Okay, okay. We are gathered together here to join this man and this woman. What man? Do you take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? Zeppo. Do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? We, we do. do! All of them! <laughs> oh, I wish! <laughs> Oh, I knew it. I knew that was going to be the end. Perfect ending. That was brilliant. Amazing. How much fun was that one? Again, another brilliant movie. It made my day. It honestly just made my day. I could watch them all the time and see when they're not being funny and they're doing their piano and they're harping and they're singing and they're dancing and everything. I could just sit and watch them all the time. Everything they're doing and everything put together is just just makes the best movies. The last two were just so funny and so brilliant. I absolutely loved them and they were amazing. This one, I think if I'd seen it first, I would have been a bit like, hmm, I'm not sure. But because I've seen the other two first and like I know them and their characteristics and their personalities and, and all that stuff, I've watched this one and just absolutely loved it again. But it's completely different, but still amazing. Groucho tells the same jokes in every movie, but different. Different words, but same. Same delivery, same setup. Harpo is exactly the same in every movie. They're all the same in every movie. I just love it. I love it so, so, so much. Love them. I love the brothers. I just wanted to be the girl at the end and marry them all. It's not fair. Right, I have to go because I'm just looking at the time and I have to be somewhere. So if you like this video, please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning on sticking around, which I really, really hope you do, then please subscribe. Guys, check out Patreon as well. There's so many videos on there already. Oh, um, next Marx Brothers movie that I think I've got a date the races and then I'm not sure what's after that I can't remember any other ones but let me know and I really have to go thank you thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one goodbye